just having the names of our items written out works, but it's not particularly appealing for a restaurant. You want to see the food you're going to order. So let's try and make these items look good. But first, an important lesson. SwiftUI is designed to be composable, which means you can make views out of other views very, very easily. Now we have right now a simple text view for our uh, items, porridge deluxe, full English, uh, power muesli, and so forth, just plain text items. But we could put much more in there to really bring it to life, a picture and color and so forth. And we could put this code directly in place of textitem.name. Here on line 19, just put all our view code right in there. But a better idea, is to make a new view somewhere else, a new struct view type that we can embed inside content view through the work for us. And SwiftUI makes this extremely easy and maybe, you know, half a minute to learn total, but also extremely fast because it has almost zero performance impact. It's extremely efficient in SwiftUI. So press Command N to make a new file and choose SwiftUI view. Then press Next. Uh, for your name, go ahead and call this thing item row. Then press create. And then make a new row, very, very similar to what we had before, just the words hello world. And what we're going to do uh, is add some more to this bit by bit by bit. But first, I want to get to the important point here, which is that one item row will show one item from our menu, including the name. Um, and to do that, we're going to tell it the item we want to show. What's the item this thing is trying to show? It's the most important thing in this view, really. So we're going to say this thing has let item be one menu item. That's the data required to show this thing. And immediately we can say, don't show hello world, show item.name. Now you're going to see down here, our code isn't compiling because it's part of the section here item row previews. Now this thing is SwiftUI's previewing code. It's not using our final application. It's only used to render the canvas. This bit on the side on the right here, showing a preview of how our code actually works. Um, this thing is now trying to create an item row and it isn't working because we haven't told it which item we want to preview. What should we show off here as an example of how our row actually looks? Now, I've already made for us an example item we can use right here. So an item where we can say item is menu item dot example. Boom. Just like that. An example menu item. I press option command P uh, to load our preview. And boom, we're now saying maple French toast. Now, we want to use this item row in place of that existing text stuff back in content view. So where we have text item dot name, I want to replace that with item row, item is item. That's the item coming in here. Okay. Now the result will be the same. As you can see, it looks exactly the same. It's just contains some text and it was previously some text. So it's exactly the same end result. But now all that code is somewhere else. We can avoid messing up our content view with lots of row code and instead put that somewhere else, keep our code cleanly organized. It's a very, very helpful thing to have. Okay, so at this point we have uh, uh, our preview looking exactly the same. We can see one item right here. Now we can start to modify the item row view so it actually looks better, so it looks interesting. And so we're going to start by placing the item's thumbnail image to the side of the item. So we'll say that I want image item dot thumbnail image. Now image is an image, as you might imagine, and this will look for a string name, in our case, the image of a thumbnail for the item. And it'll look for that in the asset catalog automatically, we added that earlier. So it'll find that image and load it onto the screen. Now, <laughs> the result on the right is perhaps not what you expected. Give me the item thumbnail image, next item's name. What we've actually now got is one iPhone 12 Pro Max and two iPhone 12 Pro Maxes, one showing the image and one showing the name. So that's perhaps not what you expected. <laughs> um, what's happening here is that some view. Uh, this means we've got to return one specific kind of view, but we don't want to say what. And 
we can't return two views here. It's got to be one. And certainly can't return zero views. It's got to be exactly one kind of view. Now, what will happen is SwiftUI sees this and behind the scenes tries to make them one view by wrapping them up in what's called a tuple view or a tuple view, if you pronounce it that way, or even a tuple view, perhaps. Um, but without any further instructions on how to display this tuple view, it goes, well, it's two different screens. So it's showing us that as two different iPhones. That's not what we want. We want these things side by side, left and right, like you'd expect in like a regular table view cell from UI kit. And we can do that with a stack, which is a container that shows things side by side, one above the other, or depth stacked. In our case, we want horizontal, so I'll do a H stack. So I'll say there's a H stack here with these two things inside it. And now there's only one view coming back, this H stack. So SwiftUI understands how to lay that out. It's cool with that. We should get, boom, the picture and text side by side on the screen as you'd expect. Next, let's try and put the item's price alongside it. So we'll do uh, text, uh, let's say there's a dollar, then screen interpolation, item.price. Boom. There we go. Item price as well. Because H stack just stacks them up horizontally. But it puts it directly to the side of maple French toast, which doesn't look very nice. You can imagine it being quite jaggy when the thing runs back, depending on the length of the item's name. And what we want to do really is have that extra detail here, the item price, off to one side and stack them up neatly. And we can do this with another stack, a stack inside a stack. So we're gonna have this picture by itself on the left, then maple French toast above and price below. So like a stack within a stack. So we'll say the H stack here with our image inside, but after that will be a V stack, a vertical stack containing item name and item price, like that. And boom, the stack within a stack laying things out uh, much more nicely. Now you'll see by default, the item's name and price are centered. That's the default behavior of VStack and the default behavior of large amounts of SwiftUI. Um, a left alignment would look better here, I think. So we can say to our VStack, you have an alignment of dot leading. Go to the leading edge, which is the left edge on left to right languages or the right edge on right to left languages. And hopefully now to go back to uh, contentview.swift, you will see in this preview, boom, all the pictures, all the text, all the prices lined up now, looking much more rich and exciting, I think.